Welcome to our third video in our drawing and gritting process. We are gritting a cartoon character as part of our study of pop art. This is just going to include our pencil drawing. When it comes time for color, we will be having a separate video to address that. The goal of gridding is to scale up the image that you have. There isn't anybody that has a picture that's this large. And also to increase the accuracy of your drawing. One of the things that we can do, we've learned some tips and some tricks through the years, things to help you make your gridding better and even more accurate. And one thing that students have found super helpful is to trace their fold lines. For some, they're just a little bit too light, um, not distinct enough. So we can just take our ruler, find those fold lines. And that was the last one that I needed to do to just kind of crisp that up and make the boxes more obvious. Another thing that students like to do in order to stay focused on one box at a time is to fold the paper so that you only actually see one box at a time. You're going to be drawing what you see in the first box of your paper in your first box here. What you see in the second box here, third box, fourth box, and so forth. It is highly recommended that you work from left to right and do each subsequent row in order. I mean, it makes sense that if you hopped around and you gridded accurately, that things should line up. But people have had difficulty with that in the past. So I think it's just a good idea to start in the upper left corner and work your way across just the way that we read. So that your paper doesn't pop open, you can get a paper clip to hold that together. Those will be available to you. and then you can start to draw. So there's not really a whole lot going in, on in this square. And one of the nice things about gridding is it's just going to break it into basic lines and shapes. I'm not worried about, is that somebody's hair? Is it their ear? What part of an object is that? Just the shape, the direction, and the basic size is all I'm concerned about. Some of my students started finding the center of their box and drawing a light plus sign inside. And some would do that on their paper. And I've had some break it into even smaller pieces if they had a very, very complex character. But mine is not that complex, so I'm not going to go that far. But whatever you think helps you, you should go ahead and do. You know, if I'm going to decide that the center is approximately there, I can see that all of the action of my drawing is going to be going on during the down here in this lower right hand corner. If this is the center of that row, I know that this needs to start over to the right a little bit and I can start drawing up. Some pictures have this dark outline going around the edge and whether you want to include that is going to be your choice but then you're just going to have to decide if you're not going to do you want the outside edge to be part of your drawing or just the inside edge okay so that's done then i'm going to take this and unfold it and move on to the next part So you can see it's not just about recreating the character on top of the boxes. You're actually drawing what you see in each box in the corresponding box on your paper. And there is a difference. So if this is about the middle here, I can tell that this line needs to end about halfway over. And then that's fairly equidistant. I'm going to draw a line up here. And those are fairly even with each other. You can compare one part to another part. And I'm just going to keep going. You know, refold 
however it works best for you. Obviously, there's a lot more going on here in this square. Oops. This is the center. This will span all the way across. And I'm not going to draw this whole thing. I'm going to show you some finished pieces or in progress pieces. Right here in the middle, that's going to come over. So find parts in relationships to each other. And you probably will need to go back and touch a few things up, and that's okay. You know, I draw a lot, but I still, when I'm gritting, I go back and I touch up things all the time. find little problems and just fix them. We're drawing lightly in pencil, so that's not a problem. Look at a few other ones. Here's my pebbles. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll have empty boxes, and you can definitely see that in this particular picture here. And if the box is empty, you just don't draw anything there. You only draw what you see. None of my pictures came with a background. If yours came with a background and you want to include it, that's fine. Or you can just grid the character, edit the background out, and add your own background later, which we can talk about when we talk about color. So there's pebbles. You can see I'm a lot further along. I've done the first three rows. I just need to finish the bottom. Here's one where I have finished my character. And some are centered and some are off to the side, but any blank area is just going to give you opportunity to use your creativity for the background of your work. So that concludes our gritting and drawing exercise for our pop art cartoon character. The next video we see will have to do with color. We'll see you then.